Greetings programs! Neo Mega Man back again. It's time for episode 95 of Neo's Movie and Saturday Showdown. Holy crap, are we getting close to the end of season 2 or what? Oh man, lots of big action coming your way in this match, including a special guest appearance. Well, sort of. Anyway, first off though, we've got us an interesting little fight here. King from... Tekken. Gonna be taking on Bang, the Blast Blue Ninja. Alrighty, folks. No messing around today. Let's just get straight to the action. Head to a random stage and watch these two tear it up. Ooh, looks like they're on the Inferno stage. Get ready to keep fighting. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Holy crap, dude. King took Bang to school in round one, but barely hung on. Round two, let's see if Bang can bring it back. Bang uh, gets a ninja counter to start things off. A little up and down strike there, a little bit up and down strike there. Bang dodging gets a big shot. Yeah, uh, rocket counter, but he gets a big pile driver to start. Uh, another big drop kick knocking Bang out of the Oh, another big time. Uh, Clothesline combo, out of the place to be for Bang. Uh oh, Bale with the umbrella schedule. Bang the combo is great. The, uh, the back of King. Oh, he has a clothesline counter there. Uh, not a place to be for Bang. Oh, Bang is pile driver again. Again, the light pole is really even so far. Oh, could this be all? It is! Holy cow, King manages to take a 2-0 victory over Bang with a big time special. Wow. Your muscles are nothing against a man powered by ambition. Well, there you have it, folks. King with a uh, rather impressive victory, I'd say. He uh, he didn't have it easy. Bang made it interesting, That's that's for sure. But... King proving he's got the guts and got the glory because he got the 2-0. Oh, if you're wondering why I sound different, it's probably because, well, my old headset that I was using, not even old, it was a brand new headset, got hit with a power surge, I think, and the speakers blew out and so did the mic. So now I'm using another, uh, like, $26 Sadie's headset or Satis, or whatever, and it's a little quiet, so I've heard, but at least the quality's good, so I've adjusted my recording setup accordingly, and hopefully this will sound pretty good, though the fight might overpower my voice a little bit, but, you know, who minds that? Anyway, enough bullshit out of me. Let's get on to uh, singles match number two, and our next big yeah next big happenstance I guess all right be right back with singles match number two and we are back with our second big singles match of the evening and we've got a brand new face here special guest appearance making his extremely late season debut on my show it's Hayato from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 I forget what game he's originally from but uh, this is his Marvel vs. Capcom 2 form. And yeah, he will be facing off against the tough lady from Shades of Manhattan. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Shades of Manhattan in Frey. Now, Frey is a dangerous opponent for his first choice. 
well, not really choice, his first draw, I should say, because she's got the psycho orbs and the big kick combos and all that good jazz, so uh, this could be interesting, folks. All right, down to a random stage, and let's see what Hayato makes the first. I'm through. Alright, looks like Hayato's ready. Wow, they came out with a sneaky surprise attack. Yeah, yeah. 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 A couple more slides. Ooh, good counter there by Hayato. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, he can't block the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hayato's too quick for him. Head up! Head up! Punch a couple of psychic moves yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Hayato and Frey just sort of trade back. Yeah. 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 Good combo there from Frey. Yeah. 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 Oh, another good counter there from Frey. Wow, that actually didn't do as much as I was Heads expecting. Up. Oof. Uh, I was able to just sit there and take one on the chin Heads for Frey. Oof. And Hayato not able to do it. That one did a lot more damage. Oh, another big combo from Hayato. Another big combo from Hayato. Another big combo from Hayato. Barely hangs on to win round one against Frey. Alright, round two, let's see what Frey can do this round. He's hit by Hayato three times, apparently. Four, five, six. wow, Hayato won a big string. Okay, now Frey gets a good set of moves through. Hayato is the uh, max three here. He's taking a couple of hits on the chin. Oh, 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 Frey barely hits that big special, but that could cost her a round. Or a match, for that matter. Yeah, she's trying to get some more moves there. She gets a big combo going, big punches all over the place on Hayato. Frey is really still on the health side of things here. Hayato is going to be able to control. Oh, 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 wow. Hayato gets a big chunk of damage taken away by Frey. Enormous combo special there. Hayato's trying to find a good place to get his special. Jumping in, but Hayato is ah, no thank you with the day. shockwave special. And Hayato with a pretty commanding 2-0 victory over Frey for his first match on my show. Well, that was special. Not a bad way to start your run there, Hayato. Not a bad way at all. So yeah, Hayato starting his run on my show with a big win over Frey. Maybe not the most dangerous opponent, but hey, she gave him a run. So, yeah, that's all for singles tonight. Uh, stick around, we still got two big doubles matches and our next 4v4 tournament match. And you don't want to miss this one, folks. So, stick around, I'll be right back with doubles match number one. And we are back with doubles match number one for the evening, and this one is going to be chock full of dynamite. I'm not even kidding. In the left corner, we've got Spawn and Spiral, who took the opportunity in the offseason to train and train hard. Both of them are back and better than ever. So this match and probably the entire entirety of next season is going to be a time to watch out for Spawn and Spiral. But... They've got a hell of a wall coming up against them in Eliza Masters and Cutie Karate, who also took the time to train up in the offseason and are probably the best they've ever been. So this is going to be a hell of an interesting match, folks. I, uh, I got nothing on this one. If Spawn and Spiral play their special game right, they might have a slight edge, but Cutie and Eliza have probably a decent speed advantage. Plus, Cutie's got some insane reach on some of her specials, so, you know, that's, that's helpful. Okay, enough blabbering out of me. Let's get down to a random stage. Watch the fireworks.
What a die! Oh boy, this stage. Get ready to spawn spiral ready to life and keep Takes her out. That was easy. Eliza and Cutie with the round one Get victory. Let's see if Spawn and Spiral can make something happen in round number two. Spiral rolls through, but now Spawn is in the left hand corner there by uh. Take this guy! Come on! Get the spot! 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 Cutie turned into a schoolgirl. How about that? Anyway, wow. Uh, that was intense, folks. Hell of a 2 0, but unfortunately, still a 2 0. I'll be honest, I expected a tiny bit more out of Spawn and Spiral, but it was weird. I guess Spawn couldn't get his big specials going because Spiral was hogging the special meter. Might be something to look into for them because, uh, unfortunately for Spiral, Spawn is definitely the special cannon on that team. What with the Gatling guns and the super chains and the big green pillars of fire and all that good jazz. Cutie and Eliza, though, showing some pretty hella good teamwork. Cutie knocking them into Eliza's genocide cutters and Cutie paralyzing one member with the heaven and hell throw. Okay, anyway, enough out of me. That was singles match number one, or doubles match number one. God, I'm an idiot. Doubles match number one. Doubles match number two will be on its way pretty quick, so don't go away. Alrighty, we are back with doubles match number two, and this one is going to be epic. Anytime you see Vertigo and Talon on one side of the screen is a good day, but probably not for their opponents who in this case are B. Jeanette and Ruby Hart. Now, B. Jeanette and Ruby Hart, like I said in their previous match, they've been doing some training, and they're probably about as good as I'm going to get them. So, they're, they might give Vertigo and Talon a run, I'm not sure. But Mistress Vertigo and Talon the Survivor, not easy. No, they, they are a definite hardcore team. But... 
I don't know. I don't know who to favor in this match. Oh well. Enough speculating. Let's get down to a random stage and watch these four tear it apart. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to get started. We're going to touch them off with a uh, big overhead kick there. And, uh, oh, another big spinning kick there from uh, the big net. Merger kind of ripping the party with the corner, but the big shovel shell there. Here's a big damage to Merger and Talon. Merger and Talon had big net pin between their attacks, and big net takes off. Big combo for me, Jeanette and Ruby Hart there. Here's a big damage to Talon and Survivor. Whoa! Oh, 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 blood special. Ruby oh, Hart took it and found me from it. Not a good place to be for me. Ruby Hart there. Again, she gets torn into by Talon, and now she's, uh, she's all alone against her going Talon. This is her, oh, wow, good, good combo special there. Oh, but now unfortunately, she's losing it torn into. How the hell did Ruby you know, Jeanette end up with that much health? Did she not get hit? Wow. Ruby Jeanette playing the uh, avoidance game. Oh, big acid spit from Mr. Vertigo. Another big couple of bites there. Misses the knife edge tail. Wow, big combo there from Vertigo. Who is playing the range game as best as can. But unfortunately, I don't know if it's going to matter. Oh. Uh-oh. She hypnotizes... Uh... Oh man, but unfortunately we can't do too much about it. Why is she playing mind games? This could be a big mistake on Vertigo's part. She gets a tail shot through. Oh, but a big uppercut from B. Jeanette puts her down. Jenny, one. Okay, B. Jeanette. Ruby Hart here. Oh, cheap ass tail shot. Ruby oh, Hart takes a bit of a pounding there. Good gravy mercils. Big water rolls. Ruby Hart gets uh, controlled there. Holy crap. Oh. Got talent in his horn. One more good shot and Talon will be down. Oof! Oh, and then it's Talon to survive and go down to get his vertigo. B. Jeanette and Ruby Hart. Oh, great shot. Great, what a combo. This is insanity. B. Jeanette and Ruby Hart are making vertigo and Talon look like a shot. Jenny. Wow. I have no words, folks. DJ Net and Ruby Hart just made absolute jokes out of Vertigo and Talon. I mean, are the big bad dinos losing a step? Or are B. Jeanette and Ruby Hart really that good? I'm in shock. I've never seen Vertigo and Talon take a beat down like that. I mean, they fought hard, don't get me wrong, but B. Jeanette and Ruby Hart just turned it up and kept it going, and good lord. I mean, did you see the combos they were pulling off? Such teamwork. Those shovel shells and B. Jeanette's twirling cape specials, and holy crap, Ola. That was something to behold. Okay, enough out of me. Let's get on to our big main event, our 4v4 tournament match. And this one's going to be a hell of a match, trust me, folks. So let's get right on to that. And welcome back to the main event for Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown Episode 95. Oh, God. Why did this match have to happen so early? We're only in the quarterfinals, and look who we've got. Pulling double duty tonight, half of Team Primal Rage. It's Blizzard, Diablo, Talon, and Vertigo. And they're going to be taking on the Darkstalkers, Felicia, John Talbane, Morgan, and Lilith. 
I don't envy my chances of calling this match very well because this is going to be an absolute mess from start to finish. But I'll try my best. A match of this caliber could only go down on the SmackDown Arena stage. And for one of these teams, it's going to be go home time. So, let's light this candle. Primal Rage ready. Whoops. Come on, we'll get morning and stuff together. Okay. Here we go. Somebody's down, there goes Diablo. Big pile driver. Oh wow. Man, the Dark Stalkers barely hung on Morgan and John Talbain are the winners for round number one. Big cheap ass right there to go for And the Dark Stalkers are leading that one the attack, but now here come the uh, Oh wow. The entire the entire Dark Stalkers team is now blitzing. The uh the Dinos, they're not wanting to lose at all. Holy crap, look at the damage! Blizzard's trying to fight out of the corner with the gotcha. Telling the survivor fight with all his might. Blizzard's three points through. The Dark Stalkers are in trouble. Look at this the edge. Blizzard not going to be happy on the light side of things. Big three shot punch there. Oh, there goes Blizzard. The upper uh, tower looks like he's down too. Oh wait, Talon's still standing. Diablo not too happy on the health side of things. Oh, look at that blitz crew. Could that be the end of Talon? Yes, Talon is riding his down. And a big black, uh, big black bat was placed and takes out Diablo. Can Mistress Vertigo pull it off here? Uh oh, uh oh. Big pile driver. KO! Felicia and Morgan are the only ones standing at the end of round two, and they barely had any health left. Holy shit. I mean, holy crap in a hat, folks. What a match that was. I mean, I'm sorry that it didn't go to three. You know, it would have been nice to see if the Darkstalkers, or not Darkstalkers, if the Primal Ragers had a little more in them. But man, that was close as hell. Only two surviving members on the winning team in both rounds, and they were barely standing. I'm a little dizzy after that battle. Hoy vey. Okay, well. So long to the Primal Ragers. They gave it a run, but the Dark Stalkers are moving on to face the Robot Masters in the semifinals. That's going to be a good match. Okay, folks, the fight for the semifinals continues next week with episode 96. Uh, the fight for supremacy in the high velocity tournament continues tomorrow. And right now, I need to take a break. <laughs> Whew. All right. For Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown, episode 95, I am your host, Neo Mega Man. Signing out. Signing off. End of line. <laughs>